which a teen charged with breaking into 18 cars in Peach County. According to Byron Police, officers arrested 17 year old Lenny Gupton early Monday morning. The homeowner called 911 to report a man walking around his yard. When police arrived, they found Gupton and say he had items on him that were taken from vehicles in the Woodland Drive neighborhood. Gupton is charged with 18 felony counts of entering auto and criminal trespass. Byron police say he was out on bond for similar charges in Houston County at the time of this arrest. Tonight we're taking a closer look. Local law enforcement say they see an uptick in car break ins around the Christmas holiday season. We want to know, do you lock your car doors? Always, never, only when you're shopping. Vote now using our mobile app or at 13WMAZ.com slash vote. Chelsea Beinford joins us in studio. Chelsea, what do police say folks can do to try and prevent things like this from happening? Well, Frank, of course, the number one tip is lock your door. But one Macon woman did that over the weekend, and someone still broke into her vehicle. Take a look. Not only did they bust the window, they used something like a crowbar and actually bent the metal. Over the weekend, Lauren Deal and her family returned from their hike at the Okmulgee Indian Mounds to an unpleasant surprise. Their car window smashed and their glove compartments empty. How much can you sell a stolen phone for or, or you know, stolen chargers? And around this time of year, they aren't the only ones. The ranger told us, oh, this happens every year in December. Tis the season, we always say, for, for break-ins and uh, cars are, are uh, not immune to it. Warner Robins Police Chief John Wagner says vehicle break-ins usually increase around the holidays. The, the number one rule, of course, lock your car. Lock your car. Of course, sometimes that doesn't stop people from smashing a window, like deals. But they did close to $5,000 worth of damage to our car. But if you're out shopping, Wagner says before locking your car, hide your purchases in the trunk and take true valuables with you inside the stores. And of course, if you become a victim, always call police and make a report. Entering auto is a felony that can land someone in jail up to a year. This is a great time of year. You're buying gifts for everybody else. Um, and, and you want to make sure those get home safely, but uh, you know, make sure people aren't taking what, what, uh, what you already have. Well, if you do become a victim, remember you can always call 911 and make a police report. Frank, back to you at the desk. All right, thank you, Chelsea. And as Chelsea just told us, entering auto is a felony, and Chief Wagner says it can get you in jail for up to a year.